Particle accelerators support research into the mysteries of the universe, as well as the development of new materials. They are also used to develop new techniques and drugs for cancer treatment and for research in the life sciences and a broad array of other advanced sciences. Accelerators represent the level of advanced science and technology of a nation. The High Energy Accelerator Research Organization, KEK, is responsible for the development of new particle accelerator technologies. The accelerators at KEK are built with the world's most advanced technologies and support numerous scientific experiments every day. The largest accelerator in Japan is located 12 meters below ground at the Tsukuba campus, the Electron-Positron Collider, called Super Kekubi. Comprising two rings, each three kilometers in circumference, this accelerator collides electrons with energies of seven giga electron volts and positrons with energies of four giga electron volts at the interaction point. Those collisions are studied in great detail by the Bell II detector. In order to achieve the designed world-leading luminosity, the machine has been developed to efficiently accelerate and precisely focus the beams to within less than one one-thousandth of the width of a human hair. A critical aspect of the machine design is the set of specially designed ARIES RF cavities. These cavities are designed to accelerate the electrons and positrons without being affected by beam loading caused by the high particle beam currents passing through them. In this way, the electron and positron beams are accelerated in opposite directions to collide within the Bell II detector. The beams are squeezed down to about 50 nanometers in the vertical direction by the QCS system, which consists of superconducting magnets. With this and the ARIES cavities, the beam sizes in collision are reduced and the beam currents increased for a gain of a factor of 40 in collision performance over that of Kekubi. KEK is also leading in another field of superconducting technologies, the development of superconducting RF cavities, which were the first in the world developed for applied use over 30 years ago for the Tristan Accelerator at KEK. With these cavities, accelerating voltages of 10 million volts were achieved using less than 100 watts. Since then, it was demonstrated at Kekubi that superconducting RF cavities can handle one ampere beam currents. And at Super Kekubi, it is planned to demonstrate that superconducting RF cavities can handle 2.6 amperes of beam current. The niobium that is used for superconducting RF cavities is known to be difficult to work with. It requires precise pressing, followed by high-precision electron beam welding. The critical final step is electropolishing and automatic cleansing to make sure no impurities remain. さらにその性能を評価するというところまで行っています。実際に完成した空洞を測定して非常に高い性能が出た、そういった場合は非常に喜ばしい気持ちになります。these processes and techniques for producing superconducting RF cavities have all been cultivated independently at the Accelerator Laboratory. We are also now focusing more and more on taking these techniques originally developed for scientific research and applying them for the benefit of the broader society. The Center for Applied Superconducting Accelerator has been established to promote the use of accelerators for medical and industrial use. We are contributing to the development of BNCT therapy for cancer, the production of radioisotopes for nuclear medicine, semiconductor lithography, and infrastructure evaluation.
To support these initiatives, we have established the Applied Superconducting Accelerator Consortium, of which the Accelerator Laboratory is a core member. We are also planning to strengthen the capabilities of KEK as a whole for the promotion of academic industrial partnerships. These activities will also contribute to the education of young researchers upon whose shoulders the future rests.